Alright, all you video gamers, welcome to yet another arrow shooting, decaying concrete Serengeti jungle edition of the DJ Smokey's True Video Game Stories. And with a title like that, we decided to go with the video game none other than Division 2. And apparently, according to the maestro, our special guest is here right now, and oh my god, you are tall. Boy, I thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, you want to know my name? I I already see it on your face. You're trying to wonder what's what's going on around here, but to explain it to you simply, my name's Jack. I hunt for a living. And yeah, you can get that look off your face, cause I know what you're thinking too. On me back, her name's Lucy. My old crossbow. And right here on my waist, it's a machete, not a knife. And just before you make that Australian joke, I will clock you in the face for doing so. Did it to a bloke last week when I was in the bar, so don't make that joke. Yeah, all these things kept me alive for well over 15 years when I was hunting animals, especially wildebeest. So, uh, what am I doing here today? Uh, well, Jack, you're here today to tell a video game story for Division 2. Uh, do you remember what happened on that fateful day? Yeah, mate, I remember what happened. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, who is that bloke over there in the corner? Uh, that's, uh, the maestro, and he's supposed to cue the music up when you're ready to tell the story. All right. Whatever music you got over there, boy, go play it. All right, folks. I see this bloke over here, DJ Smokey, over there trying to take out all of these dangerous creatures and people. And every single time I saw him, just got blown out of the sky by these big, oversized, burly people. They called themselves the Outcast. Every last one of them just wild savages on the field. Just trying to shoot them with molotovs, bombs, just any old weapon they could find on the street to try to take them out, and it worked like perfection. So DJ Smokey went on and tried to experiment with different weapons that he could find in the form of a uh, giant oversized minigun, no dice. Then tried to take it on with a flamethrower, you know, little shrimp on the barbie, I appreciate that, but no dice. Then, he goes all out and pulls out a grenade launcher. Of all things, a grenade launcher. Still couldn't get the job done. Then he knocks on my door. He says, Oi, I need a little help with a couple of these ruffians or whatever the hell he called them. I call them wildebeest because in my line of work, hunting down wildebeest is probably the easiest thing I've ever had to do in my 15 year career of hunting animals or anything that I've hunted over the years. And if you're wondering, DJ Smokey, that hole on my hip from a rhino. Very dangerous creature, but I took it out with old Lucy here. And I'll tell you more about her in just a second. Because I got there, they came to me, they told me, oh, we need to help to hunt down these bounties on the street. So, yeah, of course I was gonna go hunt down a bounty, get me a little bit of money, and get Lucy a good old polish. So these blokes, the outcasts, yeah, those guys, traveling down the street trying to take me out. With all these Molotovs screaming around like a bunch of wild animals. Like wildebeest, like I said before when I went off a little bit of a subject. I threw one of the biggest grenades I think I've seen. And I've never used these things before. But apparently according to the manufacturer, when somebody's in the loin of soil of these things, they will catch fire quicker than a wallaby in the hot Australian sun. And lo and behold, those guys going down, flying with their arms wailing down the street screaming, Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Ah, shit up! You're on fire because you decided to mess with me. So then I took out this big oversized shotgun, decided to 99 every single one of them, boom, bang, zip. 
and then after the whole path cleared up with every single one of them looking at me, they started to run in the opposite direction, Mike. Afraid of me, they were. But I wasn't having none of it. I got old Lucy out of the bag, my old trusty crossbow, aimed right down those sights and thick. One of the arrows got him right in the back of the head, but it comes with an added bonus. Cause Lucy, unlike regular crossbow arrows around here, she comes with a little bit of a pop and a bang afterwards. And when those people tried to pick up their old mic, boom! Every single last one of them went flying around in the air, jumping around like if they were old kangaroo. <laughs> Boy, tell you, Mike, there's nothing stupider in this world than a wildebeest, and I call every single one of them out there on the street a good old-fashioned wildebeest. Boy. So after that bit of trouble I had to deal with with those wildebeest who were stupider than they could look, I had to deal with another bit of business that was over at the old zoo. Now, originally I thought I was gonna be hunting wildebeest finally. You know, four-legged beast thing that almost gored my kidneys out and I want revenge. But no, more of these blokes out here who think they were tough guys. So I had to teach them a good old-fashioned lesson. And I had to actually upgrade my, you know, up my arsenal to try to take on these beasts. And I was given this portable flamethrower. You know, I call it the old Bobby to put a shrimp on each one of those bad guys. And then I also got another one of those special grenades. That one I call Jimmy. Cause when you get hit by it, you go bouncing up like a Jimmy. <laughs> Oi. Now, where I fought against those guys, that was the bit of fun I was looking for. Cause they put up one hell of a fight. And they even got this big over tough guy there with a with a giant oversized armored suit trying to look like a rhino making himself look big, but he couldn't compare to old Lucy here. <laughs> Cause the second he went up against Lucy, three pops of Lucy, and he was out of here. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face, Mike. He went flying at least 30 feet in the air before landing on his head, breaking his own neck. <laughs> Oi. So, after I took him out, and after I took everybody else out, next thing you know, the bounty shows up, looking for a little bit of the fight, and I gave him one good one, all right. He didn't expect me to go straight after him and hit him in the face with the old shotgun. And I don't mean hit him as and shoot him. I actually elbowed the bloke right in the face, gave him a little bit of a fight. He hit me back. I said, that's all you got. And I decided to shoot him at point blank range taking him out, flipping him off his shoes, and would you believe it, he dropped a little something special for me. Something called a pestilence. Don't know where the hell this thing came from, but it's one wicked LMG if I ever did see one. I fired this thing at a couple of the other bad guys on my way out after collecting my reward from that bounty. This thing actually poisons people like an Arizona Diamondback. And let me tell ya, one bite from one of those things will take you out real quick, let me tell ya. So, after I got this weapon, tested it out a bit, I went after another bounty. He tried to put up a fight, but little did he know I had a little special juice in the cannon with this gun. And I decided to call her Alice. Yeah, after me old ex-wife. Very dangerous, partly poisonous, it'll take everything away from ya, let me tell ya. <laughs> And after they got a little bit of the spray from Alice, every single one of them that was in the path of Alice just dropped down to the ground. Doesn't mean they have to shoot them. Just shot one of them, and they all just fell like dominoes. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite haunts, but the easiest one to do. And after I took them all out, I said the line, Oi, them wildebeest are the stupidest wildebeest I've ever seen to date but they can't compare to old Jack and me hunting skills. <laughs> so there, folks, there you go. Another story from me. Probably the first, not the last. You'll see me again very soon. DJ Smokey, take it away from here. 
All right, um, well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for another arrow shooting, decaying concrete Serengeti edition of the DJ Smokey's True Video Game Stories. And with that, we'll be back with more right after this. So stay tuned. <laughs>